Hey everyone, Morgan from the Assist Agency. Wanting to jump on today to discuss uh, Monday Docs. I love Monday Docs. They've overtaken my love for Google Docs and that is not an easy feat. Um, so I wanted to show with you or show you today um, the functionality of Monday Docs and how they can really elevate your team meetings, team huddles, the way that you um, look at your data and um, make decisions as a team. So um, I love them. I hope you do too. So let's take a look. Um, now to create a Monday doc in your standard home page, just use the plus button and, we're, and you can just create a new doc here. You can have three document types, one of them being shareable with external contractors, guests or clients. Um, and you can change those access settings as well. So they can either edit them with you or they can just view them. A private um, document will be just for yourself or for anyone that you then invite onto your board um, or your document. And a main document is visible to everybody in the account. Now I've created one earlier, so we don't need to create one here. Um, now, when you pop into it, you'll see that the uh, functionality is quite similar to a Google Doc in terms of all of your Word um, capabilities. So your formatting, your alignment, um, bullets, all of that kind of stuff, all very kind of basic. Um, what is cool here is you can pop in um, your covers and really customize this document. So just to show you what I've done here, the way that you uh, populate information into these documents is usually either the add button here or a quick add where you just forward slash. Now when you forward slash, it'll bring up all of the available uh, things that you can create in this board. And as you can see, there is a lot. So you've got your standard um, text and your standard um, formatting tables, columns, um, things like that. A cooler function is that now we can do a bit more niche things like um, pop in a notice box if you want to uh, really highlight some certain information um, or you can just delete that or you can add in um, media and boards and widgets. So speaking about media, um, we can do images, videos, as you can see, GIFs, we love Dwight, um, YouTube, all of this functionality is really cool. The next one down is you can embed um, everything. So when it says embed everything, you can pop anything external via a link into this board, so long as they've got embed functionality on their side on the website. Um, and I'll show you how this works as well later on. And then the other really awesome functionality is your boards and widgets. So this means that we can view any board that's in our system um, straight from this page and we can import widgets like we spoke about in the last video from our dashboard and view the data that way for the whole team to discuss. So you'll see here we've got our normal text and our GIF functionality. I've popped in some standard meeting uh, agenda items that you would usually have. Um, another functionality is the at symbol, much like social media and much like Google Docs, you can mention people directly um, in line from here. Um, agenda items are here. This is where I've embed um, a YouTube video directly from YouTube and we would just do that via forward slash and then YouTube. You'll see here the embed everything. Now this, I'll show you an example of where you can add your item. So this here is my process mapping. Um, so I've just included the link in here and this is my um, project mapping, which is from an external website from Miro. And I don't need to go into Miro. I simply just embed it into the form and we can discuss that as a team and everyone can see that there. So I love that functionality. Now this here is um, our actual board embed into the document as well. Um, as we spoke about, this can, this is a live view of the board. I can change the status. 
I can assign people based off what we're speaking about in our meeting. Um, we can make sub item notes. We can create new items, change the timeline, um, which I just think is amazing. Um, and as we spoke about our widgets, so I've popped in a battery widget for Project Romeo. And then you can, of course, go into your settings and change the parameters of those widgets as we spoke about in the last video. Now, I just wanted to show, now just again, just as a reminder to get those items in here, simply forward slash, if you wanted to embed a board, we're just gonna click on board and you just select which one that you want to show. Uh, similar with widgets, you would just, um, you would just forward slash, type in widget, if you wanted to embed everything, you just select embed and then you pop in the site that you need. So we're going to delete that. But I just wanted to show a separate functionality as well. In, your, in our meetings with our teams, generally we come away with action items. Uh, nine times out of ten, I can say from experience, they do not get actioned. They do not get documented. Um, they kind of just flow into the wind and that meeting ends up being a bit less productive than you probably would have liked. To mitigate this, um, there's a really cool function here where we can make sure these things are getting on our radar. So let's say from this meeting, we need to um, make changes to video caption, update leader on status of video, create a thumbnail for YouTube video, now, we've got our to-do list, which is all well and good, but let's make sure that these things get actioned. So if we just want to highlight, you'll see our dialog bo uh, box come up with a few different options. We're going to hit plus item, and this uh, brings up all of our boards available. We're going to pop that into the Project Romeo board, and you can see here, you can actually choose which group on that board you want these items to go into. So let's pop that into deployment. Now these items have now become activities in our Project Romeo board. So if we scroll down to deployment, you'll see that they are. Now again, as I said, full real-time functionality that I can assign the owner of these roles, I can assign the status, I can assign the uh, timeline, everything on that board I can update. Now that's done, so no further um, actions needed to be taken post meeting to make sure that what we need to get done is being done. So I just think that's awesome. Now, um, just some other functionality here as well that I want to point out is the um, present function, which is called put your um, whole screen into full time view if you are presenting in a virtual meeting. Um, the share function, as we spoke about, this enables you to share access with uh, anyone including the public. Um, however, just note that if you do um, share the doc publicly, widgets and some um, embeds will not work. Um, but we can make sure that we change the added access to only the owner of the document or we can let everybody um, access and change the document. And just the comment functionality here as well. So we've got um, the ability to write board comments and then also the ability to make comments on certain items, um, very similar to Google Doc as well. So I really believe that this is just an amazing system that would really revolutionize the way that you meet with your teams, um, the productivity of the outcomes of those meetings and making sure that you'll actually have all of the information that you need at a glance to be able to really get the most out of your time together with your team. Um, I hope that this was helpful. Any further questions, please let me know.